hope as our dreams come true. The sprite in the sprint of a deer, the trunk of an elephant, the wings of the bird in flight. Hope is in the unflappable will to survive in human minds. Rare is human birth, rarer without deformity, but rarest as one possessing the ability to serve and share. Deepest despair is the inability to cure a disorder or disease. Do we call it despair, deep anguish or karma catching up with us? It's only natural to ask the eternal unanswerable question, why me? Maybe it's the special strength in your shoulder and hope in your stride that God picked you from all his myriad creations. Duchenne muscular dystrophy affects mostly the male gender and is diagnosed when the child is between two and six years old. Unfortunately, this genetic disease has no cure world over. Let's strive to give them our best attention and care as long as they are with us. For whichever doctor you may go to, wherever in the world, there's only one answer. Sorry, we don't have a cure as yet. Be it the land of milk and honey, land of plenty or land of the rising sun. The reply? No. Nay. Negative. No way. We need to instill hope within us. Hope is not simmering under sorrow, but a dream of a better tomorrow. To empathize, to reach out, relate and respond. Not sympathize, pity or patronize. Who is to bless? Who is to blame? Which road to take? Personal or society's sake? These unanswered questions echoed in our friend Napoleon's ears and the result, hope as a silver lining in cloudy minds. Thus was born the idea for myopathy, Institute of Muscular Dystrophy and Research Center, an exclusive and first of its kind institution located in a serene, pollution-free, nature-rich environment in Veeravanallur, a small hamlet in Thirunelveli district of Tamil Nadu, India. Myopathy, a seed of hope, like the diamond buried deep within layers of rocks. The Institute of Muscular Dystrophy and Research Center was inaugurated by Deputy Chief Minister Mr. M.K. Stalin on a Friday, 6th August 2010. Hence spread the light to delete darkness. A single step in a long journey in pursuit of happiness. The water drops of hope combine to perpetuate harmony and good health.
No mountain is too high to climb. No river is too wide to cross. With hope and faith as your eternal friends, you only gain. There's no loss. Myopathy gives mental ability so that you pave the way. Ease your life to believe in a better tomorrow. Like your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, you can achieve the impossible. The body achieves what the mind believes. Myopathy, a hope-filled de-stressor for muscular dystrophy. Yellow shines with optimism, enlightenment and promise of a positive future. It's the chakra color linked to muscular system and helps turn dreams into reality. Exercise in various forms in a planned manner under expert supervision helps the children to relax. Children here feel accepted and normal, a home away from home. In an effort to help alleviate his son's suffering, the miles Mr. Napoleon travelled, the medical experts he consulted, the many nights sleepless he stared into space, like a bird in flight floundering, searching for the shore, with a tiny hope of seeking more, when others think of having enough. To Mr. Napoleon, hope is that special ray which cannot be lost. With tender loving care and attention, the legs that could not stand on their own now had the willingness to walk that extra mile. Instead of being stuck to the same spot in a world devoid of sunshine, these boys metamorphized into butterflies. This is Mr. Napoleon's dream. Under the auspices of Dr. Kalanyar Karunanidhi, the Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Mr. Napoleon now serves as Union Minister of State for Social Justice and Empowerment of India. Besides his official commitment and diligence to work, the remaining hours he contributes to this noble cause, myopathy, a haven of refuge to those who have lost all hope. <laughs> 
His dearest dream is to build a hospital to facilitate the rich and the poor. In India, one in every 3,000 suffers from muscular dystrophy. With a population of 118 crores, 5 lakhs share this plight to aid and assist to serve and support at least 1%, which is 5,000 children every year. This is Mr. Napoleon's endeavor. Myopathy is the answer to all prayers. It combines allopathy and naturopathy. All rivers lead to the sea. But here's a confluence of the fountain of youth, Ramaswamy and Mr. Napoleon, crusader with a cause. The zest and zeal of 26-year-old chief consultant Mr. Ramaswamy combined with the expertise and experience of 46-year-old Mr. Napoleon. Success for sure. Different kinds of weight exercises to tone the muscles, occupational therapy, electrotherapy, hydrotherapy, physiotherapy, play therapy, yoga, herbal therapy are all given under proper guidance and supervision. Following Tamil poet Parthi's thoughts, an effort to search and research Siddha, Ayurveda, Acupuncture, Yunani, Homeopathy. Imbibing the wisdom of other great souls has begun. In addition to already providing nutritious food for the inmates, by 2011, Mr. Napoleon hopes to build exclusive residential facilities for their family, quarters for the staff and facilities of international standards for foreign guests to stay in comfort and be treated for specific ailments related to muscular dystrophy. Today, this is all we have. By 2012, myopathy intends to cross the barriers of science, provide homes for scientists and researchers to find a cure for myopathy, a physiotherapy college. A research center, nurses training college and the finest medical college in South India. These are all on the anvil. Faces without pain or suffering. And in those smiles, we can catch a glimpse of God. Mr. Napoleon's dream does not stop here. He aspires to cross boundaries of race, religion, caste, creed and spread good health and happiness. Lend us your helping hand. Together we can make wonders, create miracles, a whole new world, a wondrous place for all to be. Instead of merely being and not achieving, let us live to leave behind footprints in the sands of time. Help, help us help, help a cause. cause. Contribute without, without a boss. boss.